Save this for your next trip to Paris. This was the best crepe I had. The crepe itself was so fluffy and yummy. Lots of Nutella and strawberries too. Would you try it? Seven pastries you need to try at a boulangerie in Paris. Number one, pain au chocolat. This classic pastry is almost identical to a croissant with one or two pieces of dark chocolate in the center. Number two, escargot. Often eaten for breakfast, this snail-shaped pastry has the perfect balance of butter and sugar. Number three, la tradition chocolat. These chocolate parcels are crispy on the outside and topped with pieces of crystal sugar. Number four, croissant au almond. This French delight is stuffed with almond flour and topped with slivers of almond. Number five, viennoise au chocolat. This enriched Slightly sweet French bread is packed with chocolate chips. Number six, Kuinaman. Originating in Breton, these little cakes are layered with butter and sugar. And number seven, Pain au praline. Similar to a pain au chocolat, these pastries are stuffed with pralines and lined with chocolate lattice. Which one are you most excited to try? Link all chocolate lovers, you have to go to the Link Cafe and Bars had different toppings. I've never seen this at Limp before. They had giant bears and they were so well priced. And the most delicious chocolate spreads I've ever seen. I'm sorry, look how big this place is. Hampers were incredible. I had loads of Parisian specials. Just grab a bag and fill it up. Look how cute these little teddy bear ones were. Great for gifts because they do specialized Champs Elysees boxes of chocolate. And they have a cafe inside as well. This is a famous dessert. Everyone talks about this. Look at that chocolate ball. Or you can do what I did and go in for a shot of milk chocolate and then drink drink it in the sunshine. This is from Saveur and Co in Paris. Okay, this is what the cookie looks like. Here's the back. Um Yeah, it looks really good. It feels really soft. I'm going to split this in half from here. It's very like it looks very doughy. Which is not my usual oh, style. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like crispier. I don't no. know because this looks like it looks like nicely dipped on the bottom. Okay. It's more cakey than Perfect. like it's like the type that's flat. Wait, and have smooth. you tried yet? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Wait, I want that bite. Okay, wait. Okay. I want the crust though. I want like a good chocolate bite. Okay, cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Cheers. 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 It's really cakey. It kind of tastes like an almond cookie, like an almond flour yeah. cookie. I really wonder if it's gluten-free because it tastes like a healthy, it's like a really good healthy cookie. Does it it no. Like if it's playing in the league of like healthy cookies, it'd be really good. But if it's playing in the league of like really buttery, chewy, crispy, gooey. My favorite dessert spot in Paris. Did I buy? anytime soon these are some of my favorite bakeries that you have to try so from Bauer May you have to get the croissants and you have to get the vanilla slice next head over to the store and get the chocolate eclair it was amazing and then we have Mamiche everything I tried here was amazing but definitely get the orange blossom brioche everything we ate at Disneyland Paris cake pop plus cookie eight tenths very moist well priced P 
Peanut butter plus brownie ice cream 9 tenths amazing, but very long queue. Apricot Bagna 10 tenths big serving and tasty AF. Popcorn 11 tenths best popcorn I've ever had.